<laughs> Hi there. Welcome to my new kitchen and hello to everybody who was kind enough to wait for about the past month or so as I moved <laughs> to a new apartment. I think I went over that in the last video. Um, so I did want to uh, just um, make this video really just to say hi more, more than anything else. I mean, after all, I'm just making a uh, very simple and fast uh, chicken uh, supper tonight, uh, which is um, something I've made uh, a number of times before, quite a few times myself, and I've made a couple of videos on it as well, and that is one of my favorites, a Dutch oven chicken and rice. Although in this case, it's going to be made in a chicken fryer, specifically an unmarked Wagner chicken fryer here. <laughs> uh, this really consists of nothing more than generously coating a, um, you know, your chicken pieces. You can use a whole chicken, or in this case, I've got leg quarters with uh, your favorite uh, chicken spices. And for today, I'm just doing the usual salt, pepper, garlic, uh, salt, pepper, garlic, yeah, that's right, and uh, smoked paprika coating. Nothing uh, too fancy about that. And you uh, simply add it to a Dutch oven, which ha already has a lot of uh, rice and water added to the pot, and you bake it. And it's as simple as that. It's about one of the easiest chicken dishes uh, you can make. This is the type of thing you can make when you uh, come home tired from work and you really don't want to make a lot of effort in preparing dinner. I only have a couple of uh, leg quarters here because it's just myself and I'm trying not to gorge. Um, well, since I want to get back in the swing of things again, that means I should probably say something that will likely uh, offend a lot of people. <laughs> Because, as you know, I enjoy doing that where food is concerned. So I think I'll mention these leg quarters here were not pre were not washed off. They uh, come right from the package. So, oh no, you are uh, contaminating your entire kitchen with E. coli. Well, actually, here's the part where uh, most uh, most people would say. Google it and do your research, but since I don't like doing that, I will provide a link to the article I'm using as a reference for this uh, when the video is done. But basically, there are a couple of things to consider. Number one, this chicken is going into a uh, 375 degree oven, and it is going to bake so that the chicken is thoroughly cooked all the way through to the bone to a temperature much higher than uh, what would uh, kill any uh, bacteria, namely 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So considering this, rinsing off the chicken will not do anything, uh, will not change that. For that matter, rinsing off the chicken, all it really does is uh, rinse off the skin and maybe perhaps the top layer of uh, flesh right above the, right, um, right underneath the skin. So it's not going to do anything if there are any bacteria living deep within the inside the uh, chicken. So cooking the chicken is the best way to uh, safely ensure that it has uh, no uh, bacteria or anything like that. Of course, I'm going to wash my hands thoroughly once this is all done. And also I did not recycle the uh, plastic shopping bag used to uh, get this chicken. This is just your basic, simple leg quarters. My f probably my favorite piece of chicken because I love dark meat. And it's always the cheapest chicken pieces you can get at the supermarket. In this case, these were 49 cents a pound. <laughs> because I am not going to go out of my way to waste money on a label that says free range, organically raised chicken. Uh-huh. The chicken is still going to taste just fine no matter what. <laughs> okay, that's enough of uh, trying to offend people and get them to unsubscribe from my page or from my uh, or from my uh, YouTube or the like. Oh, and by the way, this is just the uh, extra. So yeah, it's not it's not dirty. My counter's clean. Everything's brand new. Unmarked Wagner chicken fryer. Probably. 1940s to 1950s and 
This time using brown basmati rice. When slow cooked, especially in cast iron, brown rice cooks as easy as white rice. I know brown rice can be a pain to cook on the stove top, but it is very easy to bake. One and a half cups of rice. Which means simply double the amount of liquid. Three cups of water. together about a quarter cup of soy sauce and of course if you want soy sauce you gotta go to an oriental market if possible or do they call it a Chinese market these days and get the real stuff made in China imported from China if you think that China is trying to poison us they're probably doing it with the soy sauce Mmm, soy sauce. Except that this stuff is far, far better than the Kiko Man stuff that they sell at the supermarket. This is a so called mushroom soy sauce. Once you start using this stuff, you will never be satisfied with. Store-bought soy, uh, correction, supermarket-bought soy sauce, or especially dollar store soy sauce. Now this looks like far too much liquid for uh, for braising a chicken, but this is just right. The rice is going to uh, absorb the liquid. Over our trusty cast iron pot and into a preheated 375 degree oven it goes. For up to 90 minutes. If that was a whole chicken, I probably would do it at 90 minutes or actually maybe even more, but not likely. Um, but since these are only a couple of leg quarters, probably less than that. I'm thinking maybe no more than an hour and 15 minutes. And supper will be ready. All right. Thank you again for uh, waiting. Um, I am going to be working on a uh, YouTube video this week as well. So um, thank you once again for, uh, you know, for watching. Hope you enjoy this as always. Talk to you later. Hi there, and welcome back. Well, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes, and since we're only cooking a couple of leg quarters with that rice, that's probably more than enough. Let's see how it looks. or the money shot. <laughs> well, I like the look of it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> 
we have chicken. Or as my mom would say, chicken! Hmm. <laughs> And as noted, there's really nothing to it. As you can see, very easy dish to prepare. And best of all, when we prepare it in cast iron, we have the rice pagao. I know I've gone over this before. That is, of course, the crusty rice part that caramelizes to the bottom of the of the pan. Hmm. This is the part the kids like to fight over because it may very well be the best part of the dish. Hmm. Well, nothing else to say other than dinner is served. Thank you again. Glad to be back. And uh, well, I'll see you all later.